you know, as they dig through the ruins of the different civilizations, only two things are left, art and architecture. And the intelligence of a civilization, they decide by what is left behind. Those two things. And yet we're here tonight fighting for this. You know, I love the poet when she talked about the canvas because I looked at a blank canvas and I, I literally didn't know what to paint. This is a particular painting because my heart had been ripped out of me. And I sat and I looked and I, I mourned, but I wasn't alone. The whole country was mourning because September 11th had happened. And, and I was, I didn't have the desire to paint, but wasn't it the children that first started doing paintings? Did they not start expressing themselves through art first? And then I said, you know, as a painter of children, and as an inspirational artist, I have a responsibility to paint. And I stared at a blank canvas. And I said, who are we as Americans? What are they, what did they just come for us for? What do we want to protect? Who are we? What would you paint? And then I decided on two things. I decided that I would paint faith and freedom. I said, those are the two legacies. Now, how do I make this happen? So for freedom, I drew a rectangle. And I said, that will be the flag. And I said, of course, I'll add children. Seven children. Why not seven children? That's the perfect number. Are we not made of children of the seven continents? And then I thought, faith, what will I do? And I drew a cross. And I intersected that rectangle. But I thought, how in the world will I make this come to life? And I thought, well, what if the children were taking their handprints and they were making the flag with their handprints? Basically, what if the children were putting us back together? And then I thought, well, what about the cross? There wouldn't be a cross nailed to the wall. What would I do? Would you like to see what I did? Can you find the cross? Yeah. Sorry, it's so plastic. Let me take it out. I used light. Light from a side window. I did the painting. I had the opportunity to go to Grand Zero. I was invited inside, and outside was chaos. Outside was mourning and grief. And as soon as I passed through the gates, do you know what I saw? I saw my painting come to life. I saw people of all backgrounds and cultures working hand to hand because they had decided that their faith and their freedom was larger than that pile of rubble. I got to meet the real dream keepers. But you know, I thought the painting was finished. The publisher said it was finished. My mother said it was finished. You know, it says, it, they, they have a saying, it takes more than one to paint, one to paint, one to hit them over the head when it's done. But it was a man that I didn't know, and he was looking at my painting, and he said, you know, that blood-stained handprint is very powerful. I said, well, which handprint is more powerful than the next? He said, the one at the foot of the cross. I said, where? I know it's probably too far for you to see, but I'll have this here for you to see. But there's a footprint made by the, by the red paint on the children's feet, a perfect right hand print, as if I had sketched every single finger. You know, art is one of the strongest forms of communication that there is. We have the ability to persuade people. We have the ability to hurt people. We have the ability to change souls and to change hearts. We're, it's, an, it's a very responsible thing to do. But I've never been recognized for it before. I can't tell you how special you have made me feel. Rasheen, thank you so much. And I've, I want to thank you and your organization for being dream keepers as well. 
Thank you so much. This is actually a gift to Rajin and to the organization. This is uh, one of the limited editions of the original painting that is from my own private collection.